and a judge sentenced a Nampa woman to life in prison today for first degree murder. In October of 2020, 20 year old Ava June McCarthy killed 42 year old Gamaliel Nava. June McCarthy attempted to rob her and stabbed him or him in the eye and show him later in a hotel room. Now in March of this year, June McCarthy pleaded guilty to first degree murder and she will serve 18 years in prison and then be eligible for parole. In the quiet corridors of the La Quinta Inn and Suites on Emerald Street, adjacent to the Boise Town Square Mall in Boise, Idaho, the tranquility of the night shattered on October 30th, ushering in a nightmarish episode that would later unveil the grim details of a life violently taken. Responding to a distress call at approximately 12.40 a.m., Boise police found the victim, Gamaliel Nava, 42 years old. When the authorities found him, he was leaning against the door of his hotel room, bleeding from the chest. A young woman from Nampa, named Eva June McCarthy, who was 18 years old at the time, stood accused of second-degree murder and destruction of evidence in connection with this grim incident. June McCarthy told investigators that she had a reason to kill Nava, disturbing allegations that he killed her. In the courtroom, the disturbing motive behind the crime was revealed. The claim that the killing was an act of revenge. June McCarthy had confided in multiple individuals about her actions, divulging allegations that she was by Galil Nava when she was younger. It was a serious accusation being made against a man who was now deceased and could not offer a rebuttal of any kind because she killed him. It's her word against a dead man's because she chose to be the judge, jury, and executioner. The victim's fate unfolded at close range, with subsequent investigations unearthing the gruesome details. June McCarthy fired two gunshot wounds into Nava's chest and she brutally stabbed him in the eye. Peterson recounted a chilling sequence of events, detailing how June McCarthy had lured the victim with the promise that they would have sex, only to exact her revenge in an ice-cold calculated act of violence. In the aftermath, she disposed of the firearm in a body of water, while a knife, the one she used to stab her victim in his eye, was recovered from the hotel room. The aftermath of the crime revealed June McCarthy's desperate attempt to evade justice. Seeking assistance from others to flee the state, her plan crumbled when she was apprehended by Caldwell police on a fateful Monday morning. In the wake of her arrest, June McCarthy provided law enforcement with multiple versions of her story, hinting at potential involvement of others. Cell phone data, a silent witness to the unfolding tragedy, painted a damning picture, placing June McCarthy at the scene during the shooting and revealing communication with the victim. Peterson argued before Judge Adam Kimball that the accused posed a substantial risk to the community and was a flight risk. Highlighting June McCarthy's criminal history, including prior arrests for drug possession, leaving the scene of an accident, and petty theft, the prosecutor successfully convinced the judge to set bail at a staggering $2 million. It was a solemn courtroom setting that day, when the gavel fell on the fate of Eva June McCarthy, a 20-year-old whose life took a haunting turn two years before, culminating in a sentence that reverberated with the weight of finality. On a Friday marked by somber deliberations, the judge pronounced the inexorable decree, life in prison, with 18 years fixed, for the tragic death of Gamaliel Nava. June McCarthy's fate was sealed following a guilty plea in March 2022. The legal tableau included a strategic move by prosecutors, who dropped a charge of destruction of evidence as part of the plea agreement. While the circumstances leading to June McCarthy's actions may be complex, the use of lethal force as a form of revenge is unequivocally deemed unjustified within the framework of the legal and ethical standards that govern society. June McCarthy could have gone through legal channels, allowing the legal system to assess and address her allegations appropriately but she decided on carrying out a sinister resolution that would have deadly consequences for her victim. She meted out vigilante justice, committing first-degree murder as an act of revenge against Galil Nava, a man she alleges violated her in the worst way possible. Sadly, the only person who will ever know the truth is Eva June McCarthy.